As DGM of Coimbatore TNEB, I could see the distribution losses are high. Across the nation, it is around 18 percent. If you see the transmission and generation losses, it is less. It is 3 to 5 percent saturated. So our aim is to reduce the distribution losses. For reduction of distribution losses, there are two methods, like go for automation, which is costly. But through my doctorate, we have proved that just by doing our active compensation. Active compensation is balancing the loads in three paces, which will reduce the loss. And by doing reactive compensation, including the capacitors to reduce the loss, almost 8 to 9 percent of the losses can be reduced. And if you just see the number of distribution transformers in Tamil Nadu Electricity Board, that itself is more than 3,25,000 distribution transformers. So if we can gain 15 rupees per day per transformer, just by doing active compensation without incurring any investment, the country will save millions of rupees. You could see 15 rupees into 365 days into 3,25,000 for Tamil Nadu alone. So it can be calculated for all over India. So with this vision only, this company Delving R&D has been started. As a founder, we have got the specialization in uh, software team first. Then after that, we have gone for smart startup of, uh, like we have applied for smart startup of the year for innovation and we got selected also. Then uh, central government have initiated Power Town 2022, which is for encouraging the innovations from the industry, first initiative from central government. And they have appointed Bombay IIT as the, in the framework of selecting the industries for innovation. So I'm very happy to share, out of 37, out of 235 industries, 37 industries selected for proof of concept. We did the uh, metering in Mati Pradesh. The mapping of electricity board with the technology service provider, we call it, is done by the central government through Bombay IIT. So we have been asked to prove the concept in Mati Pradesh. We have proved the concept. and happy to share we are in top 17 now. And we have been allocated a feeder with 13 number distribution transformer with service connections to prove the concept. And we are already working on it. By December 4th, we will be submitting the concept proof with the validated data. We are hoping to save from 5% to 9%, depending on the load. So we have two strategies of saving, one at the consumer point, another at the distribution transformer point. So once we prove both the points, this product will go all over, the all over India and all over the world also. It's possible, globally also. It is mostly suitable for all types of industries. All types, I mean uh, manufacturing, textile, cold storage, all types of industry. Commercial establishment, where there is an induction load, where there is a motor, this device will go. That is the simple logic. So if you fix in the distribution transformer, the distribution transformer is connected with consumers with inductive load. So in distribution transformer also, saving can be done. So it will benefit irrespective of whether it is corporation or panjayat or urban. It is useful in all types of industries inside the corporation, inside the panchayat. So wherever there is a motor load, even in our house we have a motor load. When we are pumping water from the bottom to our overhead, we are using the induction motor. In a commercial establishment, we use the induction motors. In industries, there are only motors. 90% of the loads are motors. So the, the distribution transformers are fitted with mostly industries, commercial establishment, and mainly agriculture service connection. Agriculture service connections, we are giving the current in either in subsidized rate or free of cost. In that case, if we fix this meter in the pole, so that will compensate for the power, power for the farmer. So farmer will be benefited because he will get more efficiency by using this on the pole. We are not going to use at their place. We are going to use at the pole so that they will get the good quality power. So it's useful for agri also. So there are four versions, like you have a simple energy meter which can be used for your domestic purpose. And you have a two-step capacitor compensation which can be used for commercial establishment and small micro industries. And you have four step for the uh, like medium industry, Six, eight step, ten step for the distribution transformer. So if you see the automatic power factor controller, now it's available in offline. 
if that cost is around from 1400 to 1500 we can provide this for 1000 to 1100 per kvr rate so it will be less costlier than the available offline products return on investment will be for one and a half years sir. One, one and a half years it will be definitely less than two years return on investment and it is continuous benefit it's not about only energy saving if the supply goes off if they fix in a spinning machine of the textile mill or any manufacturing if the production goes off goes off for 10 minutes the user and the owner of the that particular machinery will give get an alert so the productivity will also increase and not only that abnormal values uh, uh, triggering is also there we can say if the voltage increases this or current increases this it can be switched off so those type of alert so in a way it is different and you know that see from Madhya Pradesh from here we are able to switch on and off the capacitor so if you provide if if you allow us to provide one lakh meter around India just give me a laptop here from this laptop we could from delving could control one lakh industries efficiently with the power factor maintained above 0 0.95 but Tamil so Nadu will yes Tamil Nadu will be benefited more because we have a good standard framework of electrical distribution network here already it is there like uh, it's a three-phase uh, 